السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دس از اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ بک اٹس کالڈ مدینہ بک اینڈ دس بک از جنرلی بنگ ٹاٹ ان دا مدرسہ ان دا بگننگ پیریڈ آف آور لرننگ ٹائم سو ایز وی ہیو فنشڈ عربی عربک ٹیوٹر علم النہ تصحیل النہ اینڈ ناؤ وی ہیو لرن موسٹ آف دا ٹاپکس فرام نہ اینڈ کورڈ آل دا ریکوائرڈ ٹاپکس وچ از وی آر گوئنگ ٹو نیڈ ان دا اپ کمنگ عربک بکس ان آور کورس سو آئی تھاٹ وائی ناٹ ٹو اسٹارٹ آ ایکسرسائز ورک بک ورک بک a uh, book which is basically uh, just a lot of exercise based on the different topics which we have already completed in our now book so inshallah uh, you will find this book very beneficial and very important and also very interesting uh, in understanding the basic core uh, not actually only the understanding but also the revision part of your uh, other uh, already covered topics in now so we are going to start the first chapter today inshallah and we will try to uh, cover uh, complete this book very early uh, inshallah within a week or few weeks so that we can move on to the next uh, other advanced books so i'm going to start uh, uh, you know teach this book with a little pace and i also want you to keep our keep your pace with me maintain your speed with me uh, and complete your homework get checked with the teacher uh, and uh, also it's very important for you to follow my advice whatever the advice is given to you as uh, per your studies okay so at dars ul awwal in the first chapter we are going to practice about haza haza is a isma ishara we already knew that haza is uh, indicating noun or indicating word which helps to indicate something and there are multiple isma ishara based on how the musharun ilay is what is musharun ilay uh, an object or a person place or thing which is being pointed or directed by using isma ishara like when i'm saying this man so man is is musharun ilay because man is being pointed by word using this so this is isma ishara haza is for wahid muzakkar when the musharun ilay is nearby which is close to us so when i'm saying haza baitun means this is a house okay so it means this house is close to us and always remember there must be a similarities between اسم اشارہ اینڈ مشارون الائی سو اف مشارون اس مشارون الائی از واحد اسم اشارہ مسٹ بی واحد اف مشارون الائی از تصنیہ اسم اشارہ شڈ بی تصنیہ اف مشارون الائی از جمع اسم اشارہ شڈ بی جمع اینڈ دا سیم گوز ود دا مذکر اینڈ مونس آلسو ناؤ آئی ہیو آلریڈی ایکسپلین دس ٹاپک وچ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ریپیٹ اٹ ناؤ اگین فار یور ریویژن پارٹ see there is a difference between haza baitun and the word haza al baitu there is a huge difference between these two sentences haza baitun here the haza is isma ishara which is acting as a mubtada and baitun is musharun ilai which is acting as a khabar here so basically what i'm trying to say right now is that The Haza Baitun is not actually a Isma Ishara and Musharu Nilay, literally. You can say that, that Haza is Isma Ishara and Baitun is Musharu Nilay as per terminologies. But here in this particular sentence, Haza Baitun is not the actual real Isma Ishara Musharu Nilay. Why? Let me tell you. I told you that the Isma Ishara and Musharu Nilay is very similar in English. almost everything it's like a mausuf sifat what is mausuf sifat we already knew that that between the mausuf sifat they should be equal in four things their arab should be equal their gender should be equal 
their quantity should be equal and they should be equal in proper and common right but here in isma ishara musharun ilai all those four rules must be applied but if you look closely in the haza baitun sentence you see that the baitun part which is musharun ilai is actually nakera and because of that we cannot just simply use as uh, uh, call baitun as a musharun ilai because musharun ilai must be marifa not nakera that's the one thing second rule is that isme ishara and musharun ilai always makes an incomplete sentence they cannot be a complete sentence so the translation of haza al baitu means this house okay this house but the translation of haza baitun means this is a house so that's the huge difference between these two sentences so we must remember all these things okay now haza baitun is why it is called mubtada khabar or complete sentence because mubtada is marifa and khabar is nakera so haza is a isme ishara which is marifa and baitun is nakera because there is a tanwi tanwin on it so when the opening sent opening part of any sentence is marifa and the closing part of any sentence is nakera they are mubtada khabar so the translation of haza baitun is this is a house haza masjidun this is a masjid haza babun this is a door haza kitabun this is a book haza qalamun this is a pen haza miftahun this is a key haza maktabun this is a table haza sarirun this is a bed haza kursiyun this is a chair now ma haza ma is simply used for asking question for non human being you cannot ask a question about humans by using ma ma is only used when we are asking about non human things okay like place thing or anything not with a person like you cannot say ma haza this is a man it is wrong so ma haza what is this haza baitun this is a house a haza baitun hamza is used for questioning just like ma a haza baitun is this a house uh, is this is a house naam naam means yes haza baitun this is a house ma haza what is this haza qamisun this is a shirt a haza sarirun is this a chair la la means no hada kursiyun this is a ch- chair sorry a hada sarirun is this a bed la no hada kursiyun this is a chair sarirun means bed a hada miftahun is this a key la no hada qalamun this is a pen ma hada what is this haza najamun this is a star now tamrin means exercise so exercise one ma haza we have to reply in arabic so you can for your part of your homework simply write down the answer in the notebook and share me the image of your exercise okay so this is your uh, tamrin so let i'm going to uh, answer all these questions right now what what i want you to do that simply pause my video try to solve this tamreen your own and then get check with my answer okay so here you go i'm counting 3 then you can close the video try to solve the answer yourself and after counting 3 i will be answering the question so go on pause my video watch the uh, solve the these question yourself and then try to uh, after after counting 1 to 3 at the end of 3 i will be answering the these questions okay now 1 2 3 now i'm going to answer ma haza what is this haza miftahun this is a key ma haza what is this 
Hada kitabun. This is a book. Ma haza. What is this? Haza kalamun. This is a pen. Ma haza. What is this? Haza babun. This is a door. Ma haza. What is this? Hada baitun. This is a house. Ma haza. What is this? Haza kursiyun. This is a chair. Now exercise two. Pause the video, solve yourself, and then after counting one, two, three, I'm going to answer. So one, two, three. Now I'm going to answer. A haza baitun is this a house? La no haza masjidun. This is a masjid. A haza miftahun is this a key? Uh, is this a key? La no. Haza kalamun. This is a pen. A haza kamisun. Is this a shirt? Naam. Yes. Haza kamisun. This is a shirt. A haza najmun. Is this a star? Naam. Yes. Haza najmun. This is a star. Now, thumbnail exercise three. Pause. Try to solve yourself and then get checked with my answer. One, two, three. I'm going to answer now. Ikra waktub. Ikra means read. Waktub means write. Haza maktabun. This is a table. Haza masjidun. This is a masjid. Haza kalamun. This is a pen. Haza sarirun. This is a bed. Ma haza. What is this? Haza kursiyun. This is a kursi. Uh, this is a chair. A haza baitun. Is this a? Is this is a uh, house? La no haza masjidun. This is a masjid. Ma haza. What is this? Haza miftahun. This is a key. Now man. Man is generally used for human beings. Man means who? Man haza. Who is this? Man haza. Who is this? Haza tabibun. This is a doctor. Man haza. Who is this? Haza waladun. This is a boy. Man haza. Who is this? Haza talibun. This is a student. A haza waladun. Is this is a man? La no. Haza rajulun. This is a man. Sorry. A haza waladun means boy. I'm. Actually, sorry, my mistake. I'm uh, not reading it wrong. A haza waladun is this a boy? La no. Haza rajulun. This is a man. Ma haza. What is this? Haza masjidun. This is a masjid. Man haza. Who is this? Haza tajirun. This is a merchant. Tajir tajir means merchant. Haza kalbun. This is a dog. A haza kalbun is this a is this is a dog? La no haza kitun. This is a cat. Haza himarun. This is a donkey. A haza himarun is this is a donkey? La no haza hisanun. This is an this is a horse. Wa ma haza wa means and ma haza and what is this? Haza jamalun. This is a camel. Ma haza. What is this? Haza di kun. This is a. This is a rooster. Man haza. Who is this? Haza mudarrisun. This is a teacher. A haza kamisun. Is this is a kamis a shirt? La no. Haza mindilun. This is a handkerchief. Now exercise. Try yourself first. Now after counting one, two, three, I'm going to answer. One, two, three. Ma haza. What is this? Haza kalamun. This is a pen. Haza kalbun. This is a dog. Man haza. Who is this? Haza tabibun. This is a doctor. Haza jamalun. This is a camel. A haza kalbun is this is a dog? La no. Haza kitun this is a cat. A haza dikun 
is this is a rooster naam yes ahaza hisanun is this is a, uh, a horse la no hada himarun this is a donkey haza mindilun this is a handkerchief ahaza waladun is this is a boy naam yes man haza who is this hada rajulun this is a man now chapter 2 ad dars sani second chapter zalika similarly zalika is a ism ishara used for wahid muzakkar but for far away things when the musharun ilay is very far from us so it is called musharun ilay when it is baid it means far away ma zalika what is that zalika najmun that is a star haza masjidun this is a masjid wa zalika baitun and that is a house haza hisanun this is a horse wa zalika himarun and that is a donkey a zalika kalbun is that is a dog la no zalika kittun that is a uh, cat ma zalika what is that zalika sarirun that is a bed man haza who is this wa man zaka and who is that haza mudarrisun this is a teacher wa zalika imamun and that is a imam ma zalika what is that zalika hajarun that is a stone haza sukkarun this is a sugar wa zalika nablabanun and that is a milk that is milk tamreen un exercise okay i'm going to count 1 2 3 now i'm going to answer let's check with your uh, answer sheet haza sukkarun this is a sugar wa zalika labanun and that is a milk man zalika who is that zalika imamun that is a uh, imam a zalika kittun is that is a, a cat la no zalika kalbun that is a dog ma haza what is this hada hajarun this is a stone al kalimatul jadida the new meanings imamun leader hajarun stone sukkarun sugar labanun milk now we have ad dars al salis the third chapter baitun is nakera al bait is marifa we already know there is a division of ism based on proper and common so when the ism is common we say it's nakera and when the ism is proper we say marifa what is a common or nakera word a nakera is a ism where we do not have the very specific idea about particular thing or or by which that word is referring to for example when i am saying bait bait means a house here we do not have a very specific idea about which house we are talking here so these type of words which do not provide you a very specific or exact uh, intention of the speaker those type of ism are known as nakera and there is opposite which is called marifa where you get the exact idea what the speaker is trying to convey you for example when i am saying quran by hearing the word quran you just get the idea that the speak list speaker is talking about the very specific book that is quran by hearing the quran you do not get mixed up with the other lot of different books but when someone say book you get mixed with a lot of books because there is a possibility that the speaker is trying to talk about the multiples or different types of book so whenever any word gives you the exact idea that is marifa and if the word is not giving the exact idea that's nakera now how can one able to understand in arabic which word is marifa and nakera so here comes the sign alif lam word is marifa and word having tanween on it that is dual zamma fatha and kasra is nakera so here baitun is a nakera word which means any house and al kalamu is a marifa which means the house that's the different bits in the marifa and nakera okay 
Baitun a house, al baitu da house. Kitabun a book, al kitabu da book. Kalamun a pen, al kalamu da pen. Jamalun camel, al jamalu da camel. Al kalamu maksurun. The pen is broken. Al kalamu is mubtada because it is marifa and maksurun is khabar because it is nakera. We already done a lot of exercise related to mubtada and khabar. So al kalamu maksurun. The pen is broken. Mubtada khabar is a jumla ismiya which makes a complete sentence. Al babu maftuhun. The door is open. Al waladu jalisun. The boy is standing. Wal mudarrisu waqifun and the teacher is sitting. Al kitabu jadidun the book is new. Wal kalamu qadimun and the pen is old. Al himaru sagirun the donkey is small. Wal hisanu kabirun and the horse is big. Al kursiyu maksurun the chair is broken. Al mindilu wasikun and the the handkerchief is dirty. Al ma u baridun the water is cold. Uh, water is cold. Al kamaru jamilun that moon is beautiful. Al baitu kabirun the house sorry karibun the house is close. Al masjidu baidun the masjid is far. Al hajaru thaqilun the stone is heavy. Al waraku khafifun the page or the uh, warak means leaf also. The leaf is uh, lightweight, light. Al labanu harun, the milk is hot. Al kamisu nadifun, the shirt is clean. Tamarin exercise. The, it, it's the plural of tamarin. Tamarin. Ikra read. Uktub write. Ma zabti awakhir al kalimat. With the real harkat of last letter, so we have to also put the proper arab on it. So I'm counting one, two, three, and then I'm going to start the solving exercise. One, two, three. This is nakera, so masjidun. Always remember one thing: whenever you are adding alif lam on any word, you cannot add tanwin as well same time. You cannot say al masjidun with the alif lam as well as tanwin on same word at the same time. It's not possible. Why? Because tanwin is a sign of nakera, alif lam is a sign of marifa. You cannot put the both sign together on any word at the same time because a word should be either marifa or nakera. It's not possible that the both wo same word is marifa and nakera at the same time. So of course, when you are saying adding alif lam. Tanwin il Tanwin is removed, and when you are adding Tanwin, alif lam must be omitted. So masjidun a masjid, al masjidu the masjid, al ma'u the water, ma'un water, al baitu the house, babun a door, kalamun a pen, al kalamu the pen, al kalbu the dog, kalbun a dog. Kamisun a shirt, waladun a boy, al hajaru the stone, al waladu the boy, himarun donkey, al himaru the donkey, al hisanu the horse, hisanun a horse. Ikra waktu al maktubu, uh, sorry, al maktabu maksurun, the desk is broken, al mudarrisu jadidun, the teacher is new. Al kamisu wasikun the shirt is dirty. Al labanu baridun the milk is cold. Al masjidu maftuhun the masjid is open. Al hajaru kabirun the stone is big. Al labanu baridun the milk is cold. Wal ma'u harun and the water is hot. Al imamu jalisun the imam is sitting. Wal mudarrisu waqifun and the teacher is standing. Al kamaru baidun the moon is far. Al mindilu nazifun the handkerchief is clean. Now imla means fill. Al farag the blanks. Fima yali what the the following. 
B was il kalimatil munasibati. So it means fill in the blanks, uh, the fill in the following blanks with a proper words min uh, from min minal kalimati tali from these uh, words list. Okay. So al hajaru al hajaru is sakilun. The stone is heavy. Al babu maftuhun. The door is open. Al kamaru jamilun. The moon is beautiful. Al waraku khafifun. The leaf is light. Al mindilu wasikun. The handkerchief is dirty. Al labanu harun. The milk is hot. Now. Imla al faragal al faraga fima yali bi was e kalimatin mulasibatin. Fill in the blanks by putting the proper word. So we can say al kamisu nazifun. The shirt is clean. Al kalamu maksurun. The pen is broken. Al mau baridun. The water is cold. Al masjidu karibun. The masjid is close. Al baitu baidun. The house is uh, far. Al Mudarris Al Waladu Wakifun, the boy is standing. Al Mudarrisu Jalisun, the teacher is sitting. Al Masjidu Kabirun, the masjid is big. Al Baitu Kadimun, the house is old. Al Kitabu Jadidun, the book is new. Now Al Kalimatul Jadida, the new word meanings which is used in this chapter. Al Kamaru Moon Jadidun New Kadimun Old Vasikun Dirty Nazifun Clean Harun Hot Baridun Cold Sagirun Small Kabirun Big Maftuhun uh, Open Maksurun Broken Sakilun uh, Heavy Khafifun Light Jamilun Beautiful Waqifun Standing Jalisun Sitting Najmun is Nakera and Najmu Marifa. Najmun a star and Najmu the star. Rajulun a man or Rajulu the man. Dikun rooster a rooster a diku the rooster. Talibun a boy a talibu the boy. The student actually not the boy. An Najmu Baidun the star is far. A Rajulu Wakifun the man is standing. As Sukkaru Hulvun the sugar is sweet. A Talibu Marizun, the student is uh, uh, ill. A Diku Jamilun, the rooster is beautiful. A Daftaru Jadidun, the office is new. A Tajiru Ghaniun, the merchant is uh, 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 wealthy. A Dukanu Maftuhun, the shop is open. A Waladu Fakirun, the boy is uh, poor. A Tufahu Lazizun, the apple is sweet. An apple is no, sorry. The apple is uh, laziz, tasty. At tabibu tabi at tabibu tabilun. The doctor is long. Al marizu kasirun. The patient is short. Now the tamreen. One, two, three. Ikra waktu ma zabti awakril kalimat. Read, write with the proper arrow on the last letter. Al babu. The door, at Tajiru, the merchant, and Najmu, the star, Al Kamaru, the moon, at Diku, the rooster, Al Mau, the water, As Sariru, the bed, Al Baitu, the house, Al Masjidu, the masjid, Al Rajulu, the man, As Sukkaru, the sugar, Al Waraku, the leaf. Second, Imla al Faragha Fima Yali bi was e Kalimatin Munasiba. Fill in the blanks, the filling the following blanks with the proper word. So a Rajulu Ganiun, the man is wealthy. A sukkaru hulvun, the sugar is sweet. Al Waladu Marizun, the boy is ill. At Tufahu Lazizun, the apple is sweet. Al Masjidu Tavilun, the masjid is long. Al Marizu Kasirun, the patient is short. Ikhtar kalimata min al qaimati tunasib al kalimata lati fil qaima. So there are two uh, columns alif and ba, and we have to match with the proper meaning. A uh, proper meaning. So we have to match the alif column with the ba. At talibu marizun, the student is ill. At dukanu maftuhun, the shop is open. At-Tuffahu Lazizun, the apple is, uh, is tasty. 
Al-ma'u harun, the water is hot. Al-hajaru saqilun, the stone is heavy. Al-qalamu maqsurun, the pen is broken. Al-kalimatul jadida, the new words. Hulwun, sweet, marizun, ill, ad-dukkanu, shop, ganiun, wealthy. Tawilun, long, faqirun, poor, kafsirun, short, at-tufahu, apple. Now, Al-Huruful Qamariyatu Wal-Huruful Shamsiya. What is Huruful Qamariya and what is Huruful Shamsiya? See, I'm just giving an example and you will be able to understand it. The first letter is Al-Abu, which is Huruful Qamariya. And here the first letter is At-Tajiru from Huruful Shamsiya. What is the difference here? The difference is in the pronunciation. See, I am saying Al Abu. So I am saying Al Abu. So I am reading Alif Lam separately and then the Hamza separately. Similarly, I am saying Al Babu. So I am saying Alif Lam separately and then Babu separately. Al Babu. But see here, I am saying At Tajiru. So I am saying at tajiru. Here I am directly re reading alif and then ta. I am not pronouncing the lam. I am not saying al tajiru. Why? Because I am directly merging this alif with the ta and is skipping the lam in the middle. So that's the difference between huruf al kamariya and huruf al shamsiya. There are few huruf by which if the word is uh, starting then alif lam will be pronounced there clearly those type of harf are known as huruful qamariya let's hear it again there are few words in arabic language when any word start with those alphabets or letter then if alif lam is added on those letter those words we will separately pronounce the alif lam along with the first letter of that word now huruful shamsiya there are few alphabets in Arabic. If any word is starting with those alphabets, we are not going to pronounce the alif lam separately along with the first letter of that word. Instead, we are skipping the alif lam, sorry, we are skipping the lam and adding the alif with the first letter of that word. Okay, that's the difference between al kamari and at shamsi. Al abu, father. Al babu, the door. Al Jannatu the Jannat, Al Himaru the Donkey, Al Khubzu the Bread, Al Ainu the Eye, Al Gadau Tomorrow, Al Famu Mouth, Al Kamaru the Moon, Al Kalbu the Dog, Al Mau the Water, Al Waladu the Boy, Al Hawau the Air, Al Yadu the Hand. All these words are from Huruf al Qamariya. Why? Because I am reading Alif Lam separately. Now, At Tajiru, the merchant, At Thawbu, the cloth, At Diku, the rooster, At Zahabu, the gold, At Rajulu, the man, At Zahratu, the flower, At Samaku, the fish, At Shamsu, the, uh, the sun, At Saduru, the chest, At Zaifu, uh, the guest, at Talibu, the student, Al Zahru, the Zohar, Al Lahmu, the meat, and Najmu, the star. Here I am not, I am, these are Huruf Shamsiya because here the Lam is not pronounced. Tamreen. Ikra al Kalimatit, Ikra al Kalimatil Atiya, Atiyata, Waktubha Murayan, Kawaida Nutkil, Huruf al Kamariyati, was Shamsiya. So read the following words and write those words by following the rules of huruf shamsi and huruf kamariya. Al baitu that's kamariya. Ad diku that this is shamsiya. Al mudarrisu kamariya. Al babu kamariya. At talibu shamsiya. As sukkaru shamsiya. Ad daftaru shamsiya. Al akhu kamariya. Ar Rasulu Shamsiya, Al Wajhu Kamariya, As Sadiku 
الشمسیہ القرآن قمریہ السلات الشمسیہ القعبت قمریہ الرأس شمسیہ الاسبع قمریہ الصابون شمسیہ الزفر شمسیہ الفجر الفجر قمریہ الزہر شمسیہ العصر قمریہ المغرب قمریہ العشاء قمریہ Now let me also translate these words for you. Al-Baytu, the house, Ad-Diku, the rooster, Al-Mudarrisu, the teacher, Al-Babu, the door, Al-Talibu, the student, Al-Sukkaru, the sugar, Al-Daftaru, the office, Al-Akhu, the brother, Al-Rasulu, the prophet, Al-Wajhu, the face, Al-Sadiku, the friend, Al-Quranu, the Quran, Al-Salatu, the prayer, Al-Kaabatu, the Kaaba, Al-Rasu, the head, Al-Isbahu, the finger, Al-Sabunu, the soap, Al-Zufru, the nail, Al-Fajr, the morning, Al-Zuhru, the afternoon, Al-Asr, the Asr means evening, Al-Maghrib, after evening, Al-Isha, the night or Isha. Now, Ad-Darsul Rabi, the fourth chapter. Al-Baytu, the house. Fil-Bayti, in the house. Here we are going to learn about Harfajar. One of the two Harfajar here. From 17. Fi and Allah. Fi means inside or in. Allah means on the or top. Okay. These two are Harfajar. What are the use of Harfajar in Arabic language? Our Harfajar always comes before Ism and they gave Kasra to the next word. Al-Baytu means house, Fil-Bayti in the house. Al-Masjidu the masjid, Fil-Masjidi in the masjid. Al-Maktabu the table, Al-Al-Maktabi on the table. As-Sariru the bed, Al-As-Sariri on the bed. Aina Muhammadun, Aina means where? Aina Muhammadun, where is Muhammad? Huwa Fil-Ghurfati, he is in the room. Wa Aina Yasir, where is Yasir? Huwa fil hammam. He is in the washroom. Wa aina aminatu. Where is Amina? Wa hiya fil matbakhi. She is in the kitchen. Aina al kitabu. Where is the book? Huwa ala al maktabi. That is on the. It is on the table. Aina saatu. Where is the watch? Hiya ala sariri. It is on the bed. Al-Matbakhu means kitchen. Exercise. Let's see. One, two, three. Ajib anil as'ilatil aliyah. Answer the following questions. Aina al-kitabu. Where is the book? Al-kitabu alal-maktabi. The book is on the table. Aina Muhammadun. Where is Muhammad? Muhammadun fil-ghurfati. Muhammad is in the house. Aina al-sa'atu. Where is the watch? As-sa'atu ala sariri The watch is on the bed. Aina yasirun. Where is yasir? Yasirun fil hammam. Yasir is in the washroom. Aina aminatu. Where is amina? Here fil matbakhi. She is in the matbakh. Or you can directly say aminatu fil matbakhi. Amina is in the kitchen. Aminatu fil gurfati. Is amina is in the room? لا نو آمینتو فی المطبخی آمینہ is in the kitchen or you can use زمیر لائٹ ہیا ہیا فی المطبخی she is in the kitchen من فی الغرفتی who is in the room محمد فی الغرفتی محمد is in the room من فی الحمام who is in the washroom یاسر فی الحمامی یاسر is in the washroom ماذا علی المکتبی what is on the table Al-Kitabu ala al-Maktabi, the book is on the table. Maza ala sariri, what is on the bed? As-sa'atu ala sariri, the watch is on the bed. Iqra waqtum ma zabti awakhil kalimat. Read and write with the proper Arab on the following words. Al-Madrasatu, the madrasa, fil-madrasati, in the madrasa. Fil-bayti, in the house. Al-baytu, the house. Al-gurfatu, the room. Al-hammamu, the shower room. فی المطبخی 
in the kitchen al maktabu the table al al maktabi on the table al al kursi yi on the chair as sariru the bed al al kitabi on the book fil masjidi in the masjid iqra waqtub read and write at talibu fil jamiati the student the student the student is in the university or rajulu fil masjid the man is in the masjid aina tajiru where is the merchant huwa fi dukani he is in the shop al qalamu ala al maktabi the pen is on the table aina zainabu where is zainab he is fi al ghurfati she is in the room aina al waraqu where is uh, the page ah huwa ala al maktabi it is on the book remember al waraqu means both page as well as leaf so we have to decide uh, the meaning with by looking for the context aina al mudarrisu where is the teacher huwa fil fasli he is in the room uh, sorry classroom aina yasirun where is yasir huwa fil mirhazi he is in the shower uh, washroom ashamsu the sun wal qamaru and the moon fi samai is in the sky are in the sky min uh, man fil fasli who is in the room now these are the names of the me muzakkar and muannas محمد مذکر آمینہ مونس خالد حامد یاسر عمار سعید علی عباس اینڈ دا فیمل نیمس آر آمینہ زینب فاطمہ مریم عائشہ خدیجہ صفیہ رقیہ اقرا وقت ما ضبطی اواخر الکلمات ریڈ اینڈ رائٹ ود دا پراپر ایراب آن دس ورڈ حامد زینب وائی ناٹ زینب بیکاز زینب از اے غیر منصرف اٹ کے ناٹ ایسپ تنوین اور زیر آن اٹ سیم گوز ود آمینہ آمینتو عمار سعید فاطمت مریم علی خالد عباس عائشت محمد صفیت خدیجت سی صفیت خدیجت عائشت مریم فاطمت زینب اوکے now min means from ila means uh, towards or till so min is actually used for the beginning point and ila used to tell us about the ending point for for example when i'm saying when i'm saying i'm leaving from the house to the masjid or till the masjid or i'm going to the masjid so to the is represented by ila and from is represented by min البيت هاو ذا هاوس من البيت فروم هاوس المسجد ذا مسجد الى المسجد تو ذا مسجد اور تل ذا مسجد المدرس ذا تيشر من اين انت وير ار يو فروم انت مينز يو مين 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 اين وير ار يو محمد محمد انا من اليابان اي ام فروم يابان يابان مينز مينز جاپان المدرس ذا تيشر من اين عمار وير من اين عمار وير از فروم عمار محمد هو من الصين محمد سين هي از فروم تشاينا المدرس من اين حامد وير از فروم حامد محمد هو من الهند هي از فروم انديا المدرس اين عباس وير از عباس محمد خرج هي ليفت خرج لفٹ المدرس اين ذهب وير هي ونت ذهب مينز گوز اور ونت ذهب از ا پاسٹ اف مينز گو مينز گوئنگ ٹو سم وير ذهب الى المدير هي ونت ٹو ذا پرنسپل المدرس اين ذهب علي وير دز ذا علي ونت محمد ذهب علي الى المرحا ذهب الى المرحاز هي ونت ٹو ذا واش روم المرحاز دا واش روم تمارین عجیب ان الاسئلت الاتیہ انسر دا فالوئنگ کوششن ون ٹو تھری من اینہ انتا ویر آر یو فرام 
अना मिनल हिंदी आई एम फ्रॉम इंडिया अंता मिनल फिल फिलिपीन आर यू फ्रॉम फिलीपींस ला बल ला अना मिनल हिंद नो आई एम फ्रॉम इंडिया मन मिनसिन हु इज़ फ्रॉम चाइना यासिर उन मिनसिन यासिर इज़ फ्रॉम चाइना मिन आइना हामिद उन वेर वेर फ्रॉम हामिद इज़ वेर वेर फ्रॉम हामिद उन मिनल याबान हामिद इज़ फ्रॉम जापान आइना जहाब अब्बास उन वेर डज द अब्बास वेंट जहाब अब्बास उन इला मुदी इलल मुदीरी अब्बास वेंट टू द प्रिंसिपल अजहाब अली उन इलल मुदीरी डज द अली वेंट टू द प्रिंसिपल ला जहाब अब्बास उन इलल मुदीरी अब्बास वेंट टू द प्रिंसिपल اقرأ وقت ما زبطي أواخر الكلمات. Read right with the proper Arab on this following words. الغرفة the house من الغرفة from the from sorry غرفة means the room من الغرفة the room from room من الحمام from washroom المرحاز the washroom إلى المرحاز to the washroom اليابان the Japan الفلبين the Philippines من الهندي From India, Ilasini to the China. Wakar ikara waktub. Read and write. Min aina Fatima tu. Where from Fatima is? Hiya min al Hind. She is from India. Kharajal mudar risu min al Fasli. The teacher left from the classroom. Wa zahaba ila al Mudiri and he went to the principal. Zahaba tajiru ila dukani. The merchant goes towards the Uh, the shop kharaja hamid min al ghurfati the hamid uh, left from the uh, room wa zahaba ila al hammam and went to the uh, washroom man kharaja min al fasli who left from the uh, classroom kharaja at talibu min al madrasati The student left from the madrasa, was zahab ila suk and went to the market. Khadija tu mina sin. Khadija is from China. Wa Khalidun mina Japan and Khalid is from Japan. Zi fil faragi fi ma yali harfa jarin munasiban. Put the proper harf jar from the following fill in the blanks questions. Al mak al kitabu al al maktabi. The book is on the table. At-talibu fil fasli. The student is in the classroom. Zahaba hamidun ilal jamiyati. Whenever you use zahaba, you have to use ila where the person is going. Zahaba hamidun ilal jamiyati. Hamid is going to the university. Kharazal mudiru. The principal left minal madrasati from madrasa. Zahaba muhammadun ilal sin. Muhammad went to the China. Wal Yaban and Japan. Okay. Al Kalimatul Jadida New Words. Al Madrasatu the Madrasa Al Faslu the Classroom Al Hammamu the Shower Al Mirhazu the Washroom Al Matbakhu the Kitchen Al Gurfatu the Room Al Jamiatu the University Al Suku the Shop Al Yabanu the Japan not the Japan only Japan Al Sinu China Al Hindu India Al Philippine Al Philippine the Philippines Al Mudiru the Principal Zahaba go Kharaja left. Fi ala min ila min hurufil jarri. I already explained you all these four hurufil jarri. Ad-Darsul Khamisu, the fifth chapter. Sayyidun, Sayyid is saying, A kitabu Muhammadin haza ya yasiru. Is the book, is this is the book of Muhammad, O Yasir.
okay no so we have to translate in the different way is this the is book is this the book of muhammad o yasir is this the book of muhammad o yasir so here we are practicing about the muzaf muzafile and its different format to understand this chapter very clearly please refer to the muzaf muzafile chapter in arabic tutor i'm also going to give you a very short brief a uh, very short intro or you can say the summarized explanation of muzaf muzafile in few words see muzaf muzafile always uh, makes an incomplete sentence they can be a part of proper complete sentence but uh, on their own playground they always makes an incomplete sentence muzaf is the on owned or possession possession which comes uh, in the under the possession of uh, um, muzaf ile so muzaf is the possessed uh, or possession or owned thing and muzaf ile is the owner or the possessor for example when i'm say, when i'm saying book of zaid so here zaid is the muzaf ile the possessor or the owner and the book is the something which is owned by zaid so here the book is the possession or owned thing the property there are rules for muzaf muzaf ile that Muzaf always comes in the beginning. It means before Muzaf, and the Muzaf ilay comes after Muzaf. Muzaf does not accept alif lam or tanwin on it. It can have zamma, fatha, or kasra, but cannot accept alif lam as well as tanwin. Muzaf ilay will always have kasra on it, either in the shape of tanwin or with the alif lam with the single zair. That's the rule of Muzaf Muzaf ilay. Yasirun, Yasir se la no. Haza kitabu Hamidin. This is the book of Hamid. So book of Hamid is Muzaf Muzafilay khabar. Haza is Mubtada. Saidun, Said se aina kitabu Muhammadin. Where is the Muhammad book? Yasirun, huwa alal maktabi hunaka. It is on the table there. Hunaka there. Saidun, aina daftaru ammarin. Where is the office of ammar? Yasirun, huwa ala maktabil madarasat, maktabil mudarrisi. It uh, it is on the. Sorry, daftar means register here. Daftar is also used for office, but here it means where is the register of ammar? Huwa ala maktabil mudarrisi. It is on the uh, teacher table. Sayyidu, Kalamu man haza ya Ali. Whose pen is this, O Ali? Haza Kalamul Mudarisi. This is the teacher pen. Sayyidun, Sayyid, Aina Haki Batul Mudarris. Where is the teacher bag? Aliun, Hiya Tahtal Maktabi. It is uh, under the table. Under the table. Tahta is also always become Muzaf. It means under. Tamarin. So here go. One, two, three. Ajib anil asilatil atiya. Answer the following questions. Aina kitabu Muhammadin. Where is the Muhammad book? Kitabu Muhammadin alal maktabi. The book of Muhammad is on the table. Aina kitabu Ammarin. Where is the book of Ammar? Kitabu Ammarin fil fasli fil hakibati. The book of Ammar is in the bag. Aina hakibatul mudarrisi. Where is the bag of teacher? Hakibatul Mudarrisi Hiya You can say Hiya Alal Maktabi Or you can say Hakibatul Mudarrisi Alal Maktabi The bag of the teacher is on the table As if Al Kalimat Al Ula Ila Saniya We have to make them We have to You know There are two words given in this question We have to Make the Muzaf Muzafilai Sentence By using these two words so Kalamu Hamidin. It's obvious who is the possessor, who is the possession. Of course, Hamid is the owner, Kalam is the owner, owned thing. So Kalamu Hamidin. The pen of Hamid. Why I'm saying the pen of Hamid? Because there is a rule. Whenever the Muzaf ilay is marifa, its Muzaf is also going to be marifa. Baitu Abbasin, house of Abbas. Gurfatu Aliyin. Room of Ali, Daftaru Saidin, uh, of, uh, Register of Saeed, Mindilu Yasirin, 
हैंकर ऑफ हैंकर चीफ ऑफ यासिर कमीसु अमारिन शर्ट ऑफ अम्मार शरीर खालिदिन बेड ऑफ खालिद मकतबुल मुदरसी टेबल ऑफ टीचर मफ्ताहुल बैती की ऑफ द हाउस दुकान ताजरी शॉप ऑफ द मर्चेंट बैतुल मुहंदसी हाउस ऑफ द इंजीनियर इसमुल वलदी नेम ऑफ द बॉय किताबुल्लाही द बुक ऑफ अल्लाह बिनतु तबीबी द डॉटर ऑफ द डॉटर ऑफ द डॉक्टर मफ्ताहुसारती की ऑफ द कार इकरा वक्त माँ जब्तिल अवा खिल खलीमात रीड राइट विद द प्रॉपर एराब ऑन द लास्ट लेटर बाबुल मदरसती डोर ऑफ द मदरसा हिमारजुली डंकी ऑफ द मैन बई तो हामिदिन हाउस ऑफ द हामिद सैारतुलमदीरी कार ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल मंदीलू अमारिन हैंकर ऑफ द हैंकर ऑफ अम्मार इसमतलिबी नेम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट बैतुल्लाही हाउस ऑफ अल्लाह फ़ी किताबल्ला इन द अल्लाह अल्लाह इन द बुक ऑफ अल्लाह मिन बैतिल मुदरसी फ्राम हाउस ऑफ द टीशा अलल मकतब अला मकतबिल मुदीरी ऑन द टेबल ऑफ प्रिंसिपल इकर रीड अना बैतुल मुदरस वेयर इज़ द हाउस ऑफ टीचर हुआ बैदन इट इज़ फार अलकुरान किताबल्ला द कुरान इज़ द बुक ऑफ अल्लाह अलकाबतु बैतुल्ला द काबा इज़ द हाउस ऑफ अल्लाह मोहम्मद वसल्लम मोहम्मद पीस बी अपॉन हिम रसूल द मैसेंजर ऑफ अल्लाह खरजल मुदरसु द मुदरस लेफ्ट मिन गुरफ़तिल मुदीरी फ्राम द फ्राम द रूम ऑफ प्रिंसिपल हाजा बैतु हामिदिन दिस इज़ अ हामिद हाउस व जाली का बैतु खालिदिन एंड दैट इज़ दैट इज़ हाउस ऑफ खालिद अना अमारु तालिबिन वेर इज़ दिन अमारु तालिबिन वेर इज़ द नो सी तहर अमारु एंड तालिबिन वे बोथ आर मौसू सिफत अना अमारु तालिबुन वेयर इज़ ए स्टूडेंट अमार वबनु यासिर इन ताजर एंड ओ नो सॉरी इट्स नॉट आइना आई एम रीडिंग रॉन्ग इट्स इबनु इट्स इट शुड बी लाइक रिटर्न लाइक दिस इबनु अमारी अमार इन तालिबुन सन ऑफ अमार इज ए स्टूडेंट व इबनु यासिर इन एंड द सन ऑफ यासिर इज ताजर मर्चेंट बैतुल मुदरसी हाउस ऑफ द टीशर बईदन इज फार व बैतुल ताजरी एंड द हाउस ऑफ द मर्चेंट करीबन इज नियर और क्लोज हाजा मफ्ताह सैारती दिस इज द की ऑफ दिस इज की ऑफ द कार अना मफ्ताहुल बैती वेर इज द की ऑफ हाउस मन अंत या वलदू हु आर यू ओ बॉय अना इबनु अब्बासिन आई एम द आई एम द सन ऑफ अब्बास इब वबनु मन हुआ हु सन इज़ दैट हु सन इज़ दिस हुआ इबन खालिदिन हे इज सन ऑफ खालिद अना मस अना मस्जिदुल रसूल सल्ला वसलम वेर इज़ द मस्जिद ऑफ प्रोफ़ेट सल्ला वसलम हुआ फिल मदीनतमनवरती इट इज़ इन द मदीनतमनवर बिनतु हामिदिन द डॉटर डॉटर ऑफ हामिद फिल मदरसती इज़ इन द मदरसा व बिनतु मुहमदिन एंड द डॉटर ऑफ मोहम्मद फिल जामयती इन द यूनिवर्सिटी इसमुलमदरस द नेम ऑफ टीचर सईदन इज सईद व इसमुलमहंदसी एंड द नेम ऑफ इंजीनियर खालिदन इज खालिद अमतलिबी अमतलिबी द अंकल ऑफ अंकल ऑफ द टीचर अंकल ऑफ द बॉय गनीन इज़ वेल्दी बाबुल मस्जिदी डोर ऑफ द मस्जिद मफतूह इज़ ओपन व बाबुल मदरसती एंड द डोर ऑफ मदरसा मुगलकुन इज़ क्लोज खालू हामिदिन अंकल ऑफ हामिद फ़कीर इज़ पुआ सैारत अब्बास कार ऑफ द अब्बास कार ऑफ नॉट द अब्बास कार ऑफ अब्बास फिशारी 
in the road. Ibnu man anta, whose son you are? Ana ibnul mudarrisi, I am the son of teacher. Ainal kalbu, where is dog? Huwa tahta sayyarati, he is inside, uh, he is under the car. Kau kawin al jumalan mufidatan, bi mal il, bi mal il faragi fimayali, makes a complete sentence by filling the blanks. Babul Baiti Mughlakun Door of the house is closed. Aina Miftahu Sayyarati Where is the key of car? Muhammadun Rasulullahi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the Prophet of Allah. Baitu Tabibi House of the Doctor Baidun is far. Al Quranu Kitabullahi Quran is the book of Allah. Khadija tu bintu Hamidin. Khadida is the daughter of Hamid. Ana ibnul Mudarrisi. I am the son of teacher. Kalamu Talibi. Pain of the boy or the uh, student. Maksurun is broken. Babul Masjidi. The door of the masjid. Maftuhun is open. Kharajal Mudarrisu, the teacher left Min Maktabil Mudiri from the principal office. Maktab means office sometime. Sahi at Tarki Bati Taliata. Connect the following sentence Al Kalamu at Talibu is wrong. Kalamu at Talibu. Pen of the student. Babu Sayyarati. Door of the car. Bintu Hamidin. Daughter of Hamid. Rasulullahi. Prophet of Allah. Ismul Waladi. Name of boy. Ibnu Al Mudarrisi. Son of teacher. Muhammadun ya Muhammadu, Ustazun ya Ustazu, Khalidun ya Khalidu, Waladun ya Waladu. Remember, whenever Munada is added on any word, a single Mufrad word, they will have we have only one Zamma on it. But when the Munada become Muzaf, they will have Fatha on it. That's the Arab of Munada. So simple, the Arab of Munada is one Zamma. Ikra waktub ma zabti awakhil kalimat. Ya Ali you. Ya Abbasu, Shaykhun, Ya Shaykhu, Ya Rajulu, Ya Sirun, Ya Ammaru, Dukturun, Ya Dukturu. Now, Iqra al Misal al Atiya, read the following examples. Summa Kawin as Ilatan, then uh, make uh, the questions. Misulu Mushiran ila Suarit Taliya, according to the uh, pictures given here. Kitabu Manhaza, whose book is this? Okay. Kalamu Manhaza, whose pen is this? Kamisu Manhaza, Baitu Manhaza, Sariru Manhaza. Okay. So here, Kitabu Manhaza means Kitabu is becoming Muzaf, Man is becoming Muzaf Ilai. Remember, whenever you want to ask question, okay, so. The Haza, which is actually the Muptada, comes in the ending to tell you about the question. Ismun, name. Ismul Waladi, name of the boy, Muhammadun is Muhammad. Wa Ismul Binti, and the name of the girl is Zainabu, Zainab. Ismul Mudarrisi, name of the teacher is Hamidun, Hamid. Ma Ismul Mudiri, what is the name of principal? Ibnun means son. Ibnu Khalidin, son, uh, sorry, Ibnu Khalidin, son of Khalid, fil madarasati, in the madarasa, wa Ibnu Ham, wa Ibnu Hamidin, a son of Hamid, fil jamiyati, is in the university. Ibnun Mudarrisi, fil fasli, son of teacher, is in the classroom. Aina Ibnul Mudiri, where is the principal's son? 
اقرا ما يلي مرائيا قوائد النطق حمزه الوصلي read the following words following sentence by according to the rule of hamza al wasl how it's pronounced ibn muhammad fi al iraqi wa ibn hamid fi al hind so when you have so hamza al wasl what is hamza al wasl this is the hamza al wasl the hamza in the beginning of ibn or ism so while uh, reading these letters adding with the previous one the hamzatul wasl is become silent so instead of saying wa ibnu we have to say wa ibnu okay so ibnu muhammadin fil iraq son of muhammad is in the iraq wa ibnu hamidin fil hind and the son of hamid in the india kharaja kharaja ibnu kharaja ibnu at tabib left uh, sorry The doctor's son left Min al Baiti from the house. Zahab ibn Tajiri, ila Suki, son of merchant, went to the shop or went to the market. Ismul Muhandisi, name of the engineer Faisalun is Faisal. Wasmut Tabibi, and the name of the doctor is Masudun Masud. Masmur Rajuli, what is the name of the man? Ibnu Man Anta, whose son you are. Ana Ab Ana Bunul Waziri, I am the son of leader or Amir. Al Kalimatul Jadida, the new words. Al Rasulu, the Prophet. Al Kabatu, the Kaba. Al Ismu, the name. Al Ibn Al Ismu. I am not saying Al Ismu. I am saying Al Ismu, the name. Al Ibnu, the son. Al Ammu Uncle, Al Khalu the Maternal Uncle, Al Hakibatu the Bag, Al Sayyaratu the Car, Al Shariu the Road, Mughlakun Clothes, Tahta Anda, Hunaka Dear, Al Muhandisu Engineer, Sayyaratul Mudarrisi, Sayyaratu Muzaf, Al Mudarrisi Muzafilay. Now see you in the next class, Insha Allah. Salamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.